So I liked this sketch and I thought what would be fun is to try and duplicate it and then watercolor it when I'm done. So I have two parts. This is the first part where I'm just drawing the tree. I like to draw it lightly with pencil and then ink it in second. So it's a little bit hard to see, but what I'm doing is just using like a 0.5 millimeter pencil, a mechanical pencil, and then just trying to get the shape of those branches correct. There's really just four main branches and mine are exactly the same as the picture, but it's just close. And I loved the character of this tree. I think it's a great illustration. So I got the, uh, the hillside correct first. You get that nice curve and you want to divide that almost halfway down the page. I did about third way down the page. And then you get that base of the trunk and those four main branches and then the bulk of the bush of the tree, um, of the leaves. So then I went through and I did the contours on the trunk and the contours on the trunk and the branches just add more of that caricature look of um, the animated tree. Well, I guess it's an illustrated tree, not animated tree, right? And then I just go through with my micro line pens and I'm using two different thicknesses. Um, and then there's certain areas on the trunk that I want thin lines and other areas where I want thicker lines. So you can decide where you want those. And then really what I'm doing on that trunk, when I add those contour lines, um, I'm gonna paint those different colors of brown. So you can do that or you can do one shade and add shadows and highlights. It's up to you, but that's kind of the direction I wanted to go. So that's what I'm doing with the inking and adding texture into the hillside. And then I'm gonna go back through with a smaller pen, um, smaller tipped millimeter, and then I'm gonna add in some more texture with the leaves. And that also adds some value to the more line work that you do. And then once it's dried and I'm ready, then I can watercolor. So really that's it with the drawing part. It was really quick and fun. This is watercolor paper that I'm doing this on. Um, I like the micro line pens because they don't bleed through paper. This is watercolor, but it's also a thinner paper, watercolor paper because it's a, um, in a journal. And so I did like these um, micro line tips for these. They also don't bleed once you watercolor. And sometimes that is a cool look. If I use a felt tip pen, I like that bleeding look, but in this, I didn't want it to bleed. I wanted to have more control. This is a really small journal and I just like the permanent look of this micro line. Okay, so we'll look at part two in a second.